Hi, how are you? Uh, welcome to the Members Corner. Uh, someone asked me to talk about RTA and Pink Noise. RTA is um, real-time an analyzation, and um, Pink Noise is is random noise sent equally across frequencies. And when you listen to Pink Noise, it sounds something like shh. Yeah. <laughs> so I think I'm done. <laughs> okay. So anyway, RTA, um, one of the most commonly used RTA softwares is called Smart. I've been using Smart for um, since since I think 2003 or 2004 as a real-time analyzing software. So what 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 uh, real-time an, an analyzation is is uh, basically. It is a tool that you use to to help you visually see how a system is uh, performing using a, a mic that is called a reference mic, which which is a mic that is made to have a flat response, so, so that it, so that it doesn't have a bias. Like uh, a microphones for vocals, for example, they are made with with, with, with with a high pass, so that it doesn't bring in some low frequencies. That, that are not really required for a vocal. So a reference mic is, is basically made with, with a flat response, which is what you you then use with with the with with, with the RTA software. For example, here smart software. So so for me, smart software, I use it to align systems in terms of time. Uh, so that uh, if I have a speaker at point A and a speaker at point B and in between the two speakers there's like uh, 25 meters, you know, so I use smart to, to basically give me the time to put into, to, to, to basically delay the speaker B so that they all sound as if they're coming from one source. I also use um, that RTA smart to also do phase alignment between speakers like for example if i'm flying uh speakers and then i've got subs 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 on the floor and i want them to have a good uh summing or i've got subs in the center and subs on the outside and i want them to have a good a good summing so that they all the subs they've got a big push all together so i then use again uh, that rta software to help me phase align. So 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 in essence, RTA or real-time analyzation uh, software basically helps you to to, to 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 basically have a visual of how a system is behaving, you know, in time, in phase, you know. And then pink noise is uh, because it is it is a random noise and the signal is being sent equally across the frequency range. And I, right now we just say across the frequency range that you can hear, you know, it helps you now to, to then, so, so I then use that pink noise again as my reference noise so that uh, pink noise is going to the, to the software directly. And then the, my mic again is also picking up the pink noise as, as it is coming from the speaker. So then the software then compares the two signals, the pink noise going direct and the pink noise coming from the mic. And then from there, it will then uh, tell you how much, what is the time, the time difference. Because you must understand um, uh, in the software, if, uh, if uh, the pink noise is going directly, it's going to arrive into the software faster as compared to when the sound is being picked up by a mic because the sound has to travel from the speaker and then the mic has to pick it up and then it has to go to the software. So, so, so I basically just use uh, that pink noise as a reference noise. And then also uh, when I just play pink noise in a system and I send it uh, full range, you know, across the, the system, basically the tops and the subs, from there I can I can visually see how a system is behaving, and in my head I know there's a there's a particular graph uh, that that when uh, when I see uh, I know that the system is gonna sound pleasing, you know, which is something that I'll talk on on a later date, you know. So 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 it is just RTA and the pink noise. They're just tools um, that we use in live sound to just help analyze the system and someone also asked me another time that why is it like 
most people they send that that noise to the PA system before they do anything, you know. And I think it is it is to some extent a common practice that when uh, it is like also one of the easiest way to just test if components are working. So if I send ping noise to the left PA and I send ping noise to the right PA. I can tell if there's a if there's a difference if if some things are not working on the right because I know it's supposed to sound exactly the same because I'm sending the same signal to both sides. But basically, that's it on RIT and peak noise. If you have more questions, please feel free to ask. But uh, thank you very much for watching Members Corner. Bye for now.